Today, Imperial Valley High Schools participated in the first ever Sports Leadership Summit. Jalen Fong joins us in studio and shares more on the day's events. Jalen? Thank you, Samantha. Student athletes, coaches, administrators from across the Imperial Valley converged onto Brawley Union High School for the first ever Sports Leadership Summit. Among the major topics covered today were sportsmanship, leadership, and community service. Many key figures attended today's event, including CIF San Diego Commissioner Joe Hines. Hines spoke briefly about the importance of having this type of discussion here in the Valley. The lessons you learned sitting in this room from all the leaders you have around this group, uh, those are the things that are going to help you shape the rest of your lives. The event was moderated by Michael Brunker, a former Michigan State champion and San Diego State basketball coach. His energy with connecting with local youth stretches far past the Imperial Valley but knows this area is in need for a newer direction moving forward. Yeah, I hope we can replicate it, not only here for you leaders, but maybe at each of the schools and each of the conferences that Joe and Todd represent in the CIF San Diego section. Over 165 student athletes from across the Imperial Valley participated in events and activities that revolved around the summit's five core principles. Leadership, sportsmanship, <laughs> officiating, social media, and community service. Administrators believe that this is just the first step in creating a better playing field for all schools across the Imperial Valley. We want this to be the standard in the CIS section, so we want to build on this every year. It's not just a Valley thing. We really, really thought these kids really did a great job of just communicating what was important to them, and more importantly, to hear them speak rather than the adults was the bottom line today. Brunker had a message for all students who participated in today's summit. He advised all the students to continue to spread that message to others at their schools. By spreading that message instilled through these core values, they too can succeed and... Reporting in Brawley, Jalen Fong, News 11.